want to go now to the other big story tonight, a dire warning from the CDC that an outbreak of coronavirus is coming here to the U.S. It could be severe, and Americans need to prepare now. There is also word that this country doesn't have enough face masks to contain an outbreak. The news sent the stock market reeling again. The Dow has dropped more than 1,900 points in two days. That's a loss of nearly 7 percent. Health officials warn the U.S. could soon see more cases as the virus spreads outside China. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Chris Van Cleve in Washington. And I understand, Chris, you have some breaking news. Nora, San Francisco has just declared a state of emergency, the first major American city to do so because of coronavirus, even though San Francisco has zero cases so far. But the CDC is saying it's no longer a matter of if but when the virus starts spreading here. The CDC is sounding the alarm tonight, warning Americans the coronavirus is coming. We are um, asking the American public to work with us to prepare in the expectation that this could be bad. The CDC's Nancy Messonnier said she told her own children to prepare for a significant disruption, and parents should ask their schools about plans for dismissal if the illness becomes serious in their communities. Fears the outbreak could cripple the global economy sent stocks tumbling for the second straight day, with United Airlines and MasterCard warning investors' earnings will take a hit. I think it's going to be under control. And President think, Trump uh, and his aides again. struck a different tone. And so far as containment is concerned, we have tightly contained this. But Republicans and Democrats on Capitol Hill who got an emergency briefing on the virus Six, were not buying that so, uh, claim. Bottom line is it seems to be getting worse, not better. Their anger focused on the lack of medical supplies needed in the event of an outbreak. Mr. Secretary, my you're, budget you're, supports, you're, you're supposed to keep us safe. My budget supports the men and women you're of the, the Department Secretary of Homeland Security. Of Homeland Security. Yes, sir. And you can't tell me if we have enough respirators. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar said the agency has only stockpiled 30 million respirators or face masks. They'll need 300 million for health care workers alone in an outbreak. Despite saying Americans don't need them right now, the cost of face masks has risen dramatically. And the largest U.S. manufacturer said it's fielding 100 calls a day. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington.